Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Hannah Morris Bouldering channel. Today I am joined again by <laughs> Shauna, a very special guest. And today we are at the brand new climbing hangar in Edinburgh, which is very exciting. Next one's good, you can go for it. And we're going to be running through a session. <gasps> yes, you had it! You had it! On basically like how to get the most out of your session. Maybe if you've not got the most amount of time. I feel like we should go through the shortest but most effective warm-up that we could do. Yeah. Therefore, allowing us to get the most from our session. Mate, yellow's next. That was yes. so good. <laughs> so, how to maximise your time? Exactly. With a great warm up so that you can try really hard. Have a mm -hmm. great session. Having a warm up routine that you always do, or at least do the bare bones of, is essential because you like check in with where your body's at, how you're feeling, what's going on, and it can really shape what you're going to do in that session. Mm -hmm. So, today I'm going to do my warm-up you're going to join me and we're going to do it as quick as possible but to ensure that we're definitely warm to yes. try really hard okay i've definitely been on a journey in the last couple of years with how i see the warm-up like it always used to just be like the thing that i had to do yeah. because i knew i had to do it before i got to climb yeah and now it's like my time i'm like okay i'm going to use this time to switch my brain on definitely and get my body warm but it's not just like a just to get my body yeah warm and exercise. i think people like underestimate um you. what yeah. you can get out of really heavy <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, underestimate what you can get out of a warm-up as well because i always think of a warm-up as hiding the veg you know when you talk to kids and you like oh, not talk to kids we I mean, talk to parents usually and they hide the veg in mm -hmm, the food mm -hmm. So warming up is a bit like that. You can hide the veg. You can use it as like little mini training sessions. Okay, so we're gonna stand at the end of the mat. What we're gonna do, run through really basic sun salutations. So you, if you inhale and reach up. So what I love to do is do this little mobility routine, but you're still doing mobility, right? Yeah, it's okay, not cool. just for warming up. You're kind of keeping yeah. ticking over. So if you do this every single session, that adds up. Imagine yeah. how many hours you spend doing mobility sure. every year yeah. versus having to put time into just doing a mobility session mm -hmm. or doing fingerboard. You get extra points for talking, <laughs> talking whilst doing it. But I think just doing this little session at the beginning just kind of draws your attention into what you're doing and allows you to be a bit more present. Mm -hmm. And then you can just focus on what you're doing and do it right for your body, if that makes sense. Yeah. So if we mm -hmm. you lean back into this, you'll start feeling it a little bit. And then we come forward and we just push oh, all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should be doing this more often. <laughs> I feel like you're very <laughs> How are you feeling? Getting there? Like I'm warming up. Feel yeah. your body moving a little bit? Yeah, I feel like by the sounds of the cracks coming yeah. out of my <laughs> body, I definitely needed needed something before to get a little bit of yeah. moving. Um, so this is more important to check in with where you are and then focus on those areas than just ignoring that you're tight or you need to yes, like think sure. about those bits. And I think with efficiency in mind, right? Like yeah. if we're thinking about longevity, yeah. it's like the amount of time once you get injured, yeah. if you don't pay attention to like your warm up and your cool down, uh, the amount of time that you spend like rehabbing that injury and feeling For frustrated, sure, yeah, exactly. like it accumulates so much that it's completely inefficient to yeah. not uh, prevent rather than cure. 100%. And then for me, I do this little mobility session and then a few hangs on the beast maker. Okay. So should we do that next? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Do We're now by the beast makers. So is this something that you would use at the beginning of every single climbing session? I feel like checking in again mm -hmm. with where my fingers are at specifically mm -hmm. is so useful for me. I do it when I'm rock climbing, mm -hmm. I have a fingerboard that I take with me, I do it at the climbing gym. So I just do a bit of mobility and then I start by hanging on the jugs, a few scat pull-ups yes. and just to gent like warm up that initial mm -hmm. pull movement and then a little bit of hanging so I can be conscious of warming up my fingers on a really stationary, yes. safe environment before I get on the wall. And sometimes that looks like fingerboarding, so just doing hangs with my feet on the floor, sometimes it's with my feet off the floor, but I know so quickly, hanging on the same edge every single time, where my fingers are at for that session. Yeah. I'd start by holding onto the jugs. I'll go on this one, so I'll go in the big slot surface. This, these ones um, or the Just the very jugs. top ones, yeah. yeah. And then just hanging. And from here, I'll move around and kind of feel where I'm at. And 
if you need to do this with your feet on the floor for people watching, that's totally fine too. You can just kind of start taking that weight gradually. From there, I'll just do a few scat pull-ups and I generally come down and then pull up into it and try and hold and just start engaging those pulling muscles that you're going to be using in your back. And the goal here isn't to get tired. We're not training, we're warming yeah. up. It is like secret cheeky training, I think. <laughs> so it all adds up, of yeah. course. Um, but it just starts to warm up a little bit. Once I've done a few scat pull-ups and like my shoulders feeling like they're warm and I've not got anything glaring, like obvious, like, okay, this shoulder needs attention. Mm -hmm. I do some offset. So I tend to hang on the jug and the crimp to start with. And I just hang for like five to 10 seconds. Again, for people that are new to fingerboarding or people who don't feel good on it, then you can do this with your feet on the ground. You don't yeah. need to do it like straight into hanging. No, it's just how I feel. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's more, but it just is, it's again, it's just a check-in if I'm like, okay, my fingers aren't feeling good today. And then, yeah, so once I've done a few offset hangs, it's just into those basic hangs. And for me, my preferred grip, how I climb is half crimp. So I do them in half crimp. And I'm really focusing on that form. So my first knuckle stays up at 90 degrees. That's how I really focus on it. Again, they don't need to have your feet up off the floor. They don't need to be on a tiny edge. Mm -hmm. They could be on the big pockets if you prefer, mm -hmm. whatever works for you as an individual. So now that they're nice and warm, you need some climbing yeah, on the wall. Get on the wall. So we're gonna carry through the warm up into our Exactly, like the warm-up's session. not done off the wall. There's a warm-up off the wall <laughs> and then the warm-up on the wall. Okay. And on the wall, we work up through the grades. Mm -hmm. And I, for me, climbing and all performance is a pyramid. Mm -hmm. And we should be filling that base of the pyramid in with our easier climbing. Mm -hmm. So if you think about how much time we try trying super hard, that should just be the top of our pyramid. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say, like here the easiest are the green and blues mm -hmm. and then it works up. You want to try whites today, right? Yes. So we've got the, the greens and the blues and then the reds and the purples. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say we need to do 10 to 15 greens and blues. Okay. And then yeah, maybe 5 to 10 reds and purples okay. and then we'll see where we're at. Really hard. Okay. Yeah. When we're doing these greens and blues, yes. It makes total sense for us to use these as a tool to hide our veg again. Mm -hmm. So you can choose whether you do silent feet, so okay. no noise with the feet, or precise hands, mm -hmm. or double-handed climbing. But on every single green and blue, climb with deliberate, something deliberate. Okay. Like choose something to be deliberate about. On this one, you can choose <laughs> quiet feet, no I'm, adjusting. I'm gonna go for no adjusting because yep. I am a prolific Tap dancer. Tap, tap, tapper. So I'm gonna. I'm That's gonna do hands that. and feet, right? No Is adjusting. It? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just kind of bringing your brain into it and being conscious. Yeah. And, you know, all these easy climbs are like free training. All of these drills. So these are just three out of loads of different climbing drills that you could do. Mm -hmm. But these three, I think they work for everything. Mm -hmm. Double handed climbing trains so many different things. It trains our body awareness, our contact strength, our timing, mm -hmm. our accuracy, everything kind of comes into play. Yeah. But it's all about moving your hands at the same time and landing. So if you can bum down, bum up and in and catch mm -hmm. and land. Cool. So you're going from a nice comfortable position through that middle ground and back on quite quickly, mm -hmm. but back into a comfortable position again. For climbers that climb more statically <laughs> and don't enjoy dynamic climbing, this drill is game changing. <laughs> not not pointing anything out there, Hannah. <laughs> that was easy. I thought you were going That's to the That's not as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought you were just going to do like the next <laughs> one up, but you're already going for it. Okay. Double-handed climbing, I think, is a tool for someone who's never climbed before, walks in first time, climbing ever to someone training for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you feel flowy at the beginning of a session, it's magic. Yeah. And this drill as well, if you are struggling on something dynamic, there's a big move on it, mm -hmm. come back to this drill, do some hand bumps up the wall, okay. go back and try it again. And you suddenly like, oh, there it is. There's okay, that feeling. Nice. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to this pain then, because one of the whites that I'm hoping to build up to in the session today, mm -hmm. I have tried before, but it's got like a bit of a semi-dynamic move okay. in the middle, which is... Well, that's one. And you've got four more to go because your challenge <laughs> now is more. five of these every session for mm -hmm. the rest of your life. <laughs> it's my prescription. But the way you started that one and the, even the way you walked up to the wall was already so different. I don't know, did you see that? Just like the way she was like, right, yeah, I'm just going to go do some two-handed climbing. There was no hesitation. There was no like angst about it. You just mm -hmm. smashed all us all. Like we've done four. Yeah in one session ever you could imagine how this builds right mm -hmm. yeah for sure confidence and everything that comes with it so now we're going to move on to we're going to move up the great like angel a phase three of the warm-up it feels like yes into the purples and the reds so we've done our very basic climbing warm-up which i think is always worth hiding the veg with and now we move on to warming up to try hard mm -hmm. we're going to do the final part of our warm-up i think minimum five boulders just to feel like we're starting to try hard mm -hmm. and then we'll check in mm -hmm. so that's just going to be 10 eat 10 warm-up boulders five extra warm-up boulders check in see if we do need to do a bit more mm -hmm. and if we feel good get on your projects yeah let's do it yeah i think the top bit looks like yeah, the I'm like... reward after the oh nice <laughs> ah. i see i would normally prefer to try and do that static but I'd go like this. Ah! Yeah. That's cool, there's so many ways to do this one. That's how you can tell hmm? Sean is a seasoned comp climber, because I would have never, in a million years, well, maybe in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> maybe got there in a million years' time. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm understanding myself a tiny bit there. Yeah, nice. I can tell I used to be a comp climber though, because I should have done it first go, not second. <laughs> That's actually quite fun. Nice. How was the top? Yes. Was it nicer than the start? Yeah. It, do you feel warmer now than you would half an hour into a session when you're warming up, just climbing and stuff? I think that just like a self-managed session by myself, I think I would have started trying a bit harder a bit sooner mm -hmm. and then gotten quite demoralised and felt pretty like tired clunky maybe, on the boulders yeah. okay. because I kind of like tried to cheat the, like the warm-up. Sneak the, it in and sure. get through it as quick as possible. Like this is about like efficiently getting there rather than just kind of like ignoring all the stuff you need to get there. Yeah. Oh, new hold. So now is it projects time? Do you feel warm? I do feel warm. So we've done, what, half an hour? Yes. And gone from moving around on the wall, fingerboarding a little bit, sure. getting on the wall, doing our drills, starting some climbing-y, pulling warm-up, mm -hmm. 15 boulders, mm -hmm. hidden our veg. Yes. Um, but if you're ready to go try some projects, I'm yes, I keen to so. come help out. Let's do it. Yeah. I've let's given go. you what you wanted, and now <laughs> we just get to go climbing. <laughs> okay, next project. Next project. Okay, um, and this is the one I was talking about before that's got the, like, I think it's a dynamic, well it is a dynamic yeah. move in the middle, up to this. Up to the good hold? Yes. Nice, I'm excited about this one. But I'm doing a kind of like, uh, with little... So before we try this, let's go back to our Get bumps. back to the drill. One more drill. So, before we try your project, you've got to do this again with two hands, and again, yes. again with one hand, and again with the okay. other hand. And then... I'll tell you how to do your project. <laughs> <laughs> That's my reward. <laughs> and there's a load, whole host of different dyno tips, but to stop that feeling of like, oh, I only just hit it. Mm -hmm. Every single time we do a dyno or a two-handed move, we aim above and we land on it. Aim above, land on yeah. it. If you hit a hold on your fingertips, all you've got holding you on is your tendons and your joints, your muscles aren't engaged. If you hit a hold with bent arms, the big muscles can take over and let you soften onto the joint. Mm -hmm. So. Even when we're trying to do big dinos, we aim above and land on, and yep. then we control that movement down. When you go for the dynamic move, yeah. are you going to go to the hold or just above and land on it? I'm go just above it and land on it. Cool. Just I'm check give it. myself time above it. Yeah. So you can control it as opposed to yeah. Fight to hold up. Nice. Let's see it. Nice, Hannah. Really good. So strong. 
strong. Come on, you know you can get it. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Nice, good effort. Yeah. You climbed really smooth through that start section too. There's one bit that I would say to be conscious of. I, you can go high feet or low feet, but you want to go into the top of the hole, yeah. not the bottom, because the bottom's not going to hook onto you. It's going to be really tricky to stay on there yeah. than there. I also wonder whether or not easier that way? I don't know what to say. It's easier to, it's an easier position to jump out of, but a bigger jump. It's worth trying. How do you feel about just trying that move? Yeah, I think that's you feel good about that. And I think yeah. I kind of want to explore the different, the two different the foot, foot options. options. I think that's totally worth it. Because I think it. bringing that right foot up quite high. It's strenuous. Sure. It's a really awkward position to jump out of. You're really mm -hmm. put so much more strain and to do the right foot high method means you have to come all the way around mm -hmm. the arm and go this way feet low means you can jump straight up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the low feet I think because I tried the high feet last time so I kind of have a bit I of an idea. I think it's really worth like. trying the low feet and on this hold um, just standing on the very top here because it's mm -hmm. really good even though it's blocked. Okay. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> that was so good! That was so good! That feels yeah. like my way. <laughs> that was easy! Oh. Oh yeah, it just goodness. felt like I could I could generate. jump a bit more yeah. off my leg. Like to <gasps> see you going from when you started climbing in this session, like being nervous about bumping two hands to doing mm -hmm. that. It's I like think transformative and it's just built up over that space. Sure. And it's your left hand you're catching with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this very first move, for me I stand right on the top. Right. Because then when I can go over. You can pivot around it a bit. Yeah, okay, whereas cool. with you there, it makes me feel really insecure. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily that's easy and that's harder. It just feels better yeah. for me. But yeah. And then on these holds, I stand on the edges so I can really turn. Yeah, I wanted to try the top. I was curious. Oh, we could actually go straight into that. No. We don't have to move our feet. Oh, that's better higher. Okay. Make a mini pinch. That's really good. Yeah, this bit's not as good. This right over the bolt's best. Oh, glory, Jack. The plan is um, to try and maintain my focus and not get too carried away. Because some, this sometimes happens where I'm like, okay, cool, I've done the move. And now I, don't, I can turn my brain off completely. I'll send it quickly. Yeah, there's a pressure, the baby pressure. Hey, I tell you what, that is one thing that, wow, it creates a next level pressure. Like wanting to get back to Frankie. Yeah. When I'm at the crag, I'm like, well, better get this done quick. Get done like, the longer I take to do it, the longer I'm away from my baby. You that went all kinds that went of, wrong. Yeah. Whew. What you want to do on the start of this is climb efficiently. Yes. So we need to have a plan and a sequence in mind. Um, we do this first move to here. Yeah. And then if do you, if you feel like you can, can you step your foot up like this? Right. And then yeah. come into this. Twist the other way up to this. Twist back. Mhm. Mm and then one more. So no foot moves. Sure. And then foot foot go. Yeah. Yeah. Two goes left, I think. Luckily, we only need one. <laughs> I like your optimism. Positivity. <laughs> Realism. What do you mean optimism? It's realistic. <laughs> yeah, if you feel like you can, can you step left foot through now? And then right foot out. That's it, perfect. Into that one. Twist your right knee down. Yep. Left, left hand. Right hand, left foot through, right foot up, and pow, one, two, three, up. Go on, hold it. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Holds are really good. 
keep moving through them. Yes. Yes. Oh. Dear, oh dear, my you're, skin. Now you're smashing it. Come on, mate. Keep moving. Next one's good. You can go for it. Yes, <gasps> you had it. You had it. You climbed oh. so well today. Okay. Yeah, that was so good. Oh. I'll take that. That was so good. <sighs> I got a bit lost. I don't think, well, I had not planned like what I wanted to do with my feet mm -hmm. and how I was going to keep myself stable. Yeah. But I think I, I panicked. I was like up here. But what <laughs> happened? You panicked and you went dynamically. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that ever. <laughs> like get into a state where you're like, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to throw. <laughs> like who is this person? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I think rest in one more go. I'm just going to put it out there. Yes. That's that way you, I was like, left, right, let's do this. I just shouted at you. I just like, I'm just spray beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the last go. Because hopefully I'm going to send it. Last go, best go. Last go, best go. Yeah, that's it. And left foot through and right foot out. And left handed. Right hand up. Left handed. Right hand up. Then left foot, right foot, and pal. Go get it. So good, Hannah. You know what to do now. Nice and high on this next hold. Yes, mate. Right cluck, toe claw, and the higher one. Really good. The next one's good. Come on, mate. Yes, the top one's massive. Go get it. All yours. It's really big. Yes! Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> mate, yellow's next. That was yes! so good. <laughs> Thank you. Chill. So confident in the dynamic move as well that it didn't even look like a dynamic move, like a tiny little casual pop. Yeah. And this move up here, you were just moving way better, your hips and everything. Uh -huh. oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so the centre that Shauna and I have been climbing in today is the brand new climbing hangar in Edinburgh. It's always such a treat to climb in a brand new centre. I'm psyched, we'll give you, I'm sure throughout this video you'll get to see all of the different areas of the centre. Um, but there's some def definitely some features that I think really stand out about this centre in particular. So there's information in the description and hopefully on screen right now uh, for you so that if you want to check out a new climbing hanger, perhaps you've seen climbing hangers floating around on YouTube and you want to see what they're all about, then I would definitely recommend that you come and try out the centre. The climbing's great, cafe's great, I'm sure very soon the community here will be thriving. So yeah, come and check it out and thanks to the hangar for having us down to check out this new space. Okay, so this white one, mm -hmm. I have tried yeah. already. Um, I'm falling off at the same point every time. Can you tell me what you're going to do on it? Or what you want, what you think so, you want to do? I think what I want to do... Start in here. Is go bump again to this. Yep. And then come up to mm -hmm. this blue stone here. Yep. Then back out to the side of yep. the volume here. And then like heave over to this. Oh, big move out to this. Here. Okay. That's the bit I'm straight away. The big dynamic move. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So I think there's a, definitely a few different options and I think it will work in a few different ways. Okay. So the way you're gonna try, I think is worth trying and really committing to. And then when you come off, at that point reassess. Mm -hmm. Because if you're going for a dynamic move, you can't really change midway through, right? <laughs> so you need to either decide when you're there, whether you change it sure. or on the ground. Nice, good Gonna down come climb on. a bit. Have a go. Big commit. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I think okay. that might have been the intended sequence to go. Do you bop, bop, think? Bop, bop. What? I'm back down. Yeah, because oh, otherwise, no. why would they put the hold out there? Yeah, well, I. Then I didn't know if they'd go straight from this. I think maybe they've intended you to go right hand here, left, right, left. That felt like a clock. Sure, that's but how I think I the way you're doing. And it felt like then moving the left hand felt super hard for me. One thing that's nice. good to do if you don't have much time in a session is video yourself or have a friend video you. It's a bad hold. And look at it afterwards. If you sit on a train to work or if you have some time in the evenings when you're not busy, like actually watching yourself climb is so useful because I guarantee you will not look like what you think you look like oh, on the wall. So for a couple of goes, whatever it might be. But yeah, having that little bank of kind of knowledge to learn outside of climbing is useful too. Because we, a lot of people watch I mean, this channel, a lot of people watch other channels to find out 
how to get better at climbing, yeah. but you know, watch yourself climbing too, it's useful. Stand like this for me. Stand on one leg. Stand on that leg. Try and stand up. Just on the one. Yeah, go on, try, try, try. Really hard. Yeah. yeah. Stand like this again. <laughs> Lean this way. Now stand on that leg. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I see. Okay. Climbing is all about your hips. Where mm -hmm. your hips go, you will go. But we can bring them back. And if we throw our hips over, take all this up around. Go up to this and then into this. And then you remove and a move. move. Yeah. And it's just yeah, yeah. this. Hips this way, that way. And then. Nice. Yeah, that makes more sense. Nice, Hannah. Strong. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're good. Yeah. Really claw in on that toe. Hips left. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> that was so okay. good. Come on, Hannah. Freestyle. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Foot outright is really good. Yeah. Next one's good too, and then as soon as you get oh. it, you're getting that foot up. You can match it if you need, put both hands up. Oh no. I'll take that. Change of place. That, that was so, so good though. <laughs> like that hip movement. Uh-huh. And you went there, there was no hesitation, you just did yeah. it. And it felt so I think it's still a hard move. Yeah. But I was fighting against my own body a lot less. Mm -hmm. Then. We're going to make a dynamic climber out of her. Yeah, I'm telling you. I know others have tried, but I'm here now. <laughs> that was super cool. Yeah, I feel like it's so obvious to see going through that session how the stuff at the beginning and the drills and how it all kind of builds. Yeah. Um, it builds confidence. At least for me, I think the biggest thing. So much. Sure, I'm really <laughs> nice. that, was, that was good. That was good. Sure, I'm like progressing to the harder stuff, like physically, yeah. but it's it's my mind and the confidence that comes with that. Confidence comes from understanding and awareness and practice, right? Mm -hmm. And if we don't do that, we can't, how do we? We can't just become confident. It's not something mm -hmm. we choose to do and can just go straight out and change how we are. Well, thank you so much for taking no us problem. through that. I uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed that. I feel super psyched. And like I said earlier, make sure you go and check out Shauna's channel. Follow Shauna's Instagram. I'll leave all the. Links you can in do the, the whole mobility routine if you want on there. You don't yes. have to do that little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, if you're in the Edinburgh area and fancy checking out a new wall, we definitely recommend the Climbing Hunger Edinburgh. It's a fantastic new facility, and I'm really excited to watch the community build here. Yeah, it's such a nice space, and I feel yeah. like there's so many good climbs for everybody. Yeah. And now sure. I gotta jump back into mama mode. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>